Anyone been watching much of um, PGIS, the PUBG like tournament that's going on at the moment? I've been trying to keep up with it. It's great. There's so much of it. It's great, but there's like so much of it. It's there's just no way I can I can watch all the games. They do like I think eight eight or so games a day every day, pretty much. Which is, that's on its own, is like four hours of PUBG. <laughs> um, but it, it has been good. I've been, I've been had it, some of it on in the background. Some of it I just skipped through. But yeah, there's, I think, find it's often an issue with PUBG comp for me. It's the format of it is always like just shit loads of games every single day. And I'm like, unless you're someone who's got four hours plus a day spare to sit around and watch this i mean i guess i'm talking to that target market because he's sitting there watching me but i don't have that time every day unless i just don't do any work you know if i just turn off the youtube channel for you know the duration of the con con contest or something you just watch your favorites probably a good idea i just try to watch when i can Keep vaguely on top of it. When I hear there's been some craziness, I'll try and watch it back a little bit. Invite comp teams for the exhibition and then secretly change the damage settings. <laughs> Too many games to keep track of. Yeah. Hey, Ditchy, how you doing? Good afternoon. Hope your weekend of staying in again was fruitful. Uh, yeah, you know, as weekends go, <laughs> it was okay. I spent about three hours on Saturday assembling a chest of drawers, a set of drawers for our bedroom, flat pack furniture. Took It said on the instructions that it would take one hour to assemble. It took me a good three hours. I don't reckon... I feel like at the factory, they must, they have a guy whose job it is to assemble stuff, follow the instructions, and then they're like, how long did it take? Ah, we'll round it down to an hour. But that guy, like, their job is literally assembling flat pack furniture. So they're, they're like, you know, the, the cream of the crop. They're like the gar god of assembling flat pack furniture. And they can just smash it out so quick that no, no normal person could do that. So it's absolutely outrageous, but uh, yeah, it took me three hours. Looks nice, though. Who's my favourite team in PGIS? I don't really have, like, a team I support, I guess. I just kind of like watching it and seeing good games. There's, I have... No, nothing's really given me any reason to, like, support a team yet. There's no, there's no connection with any of the teams that makes me want to support any of them, I guess. I just like, you know, seeing seeing good games. Hey, Ocean Switch, how you doing? Candy, how you doing? Did they also suggest that two people assemble and you do it on your own? Yeah, it did say that, but they never mean that, do they? They never really mean that. Fucking balcony, boys. Grand. You you in here? Where you dropped? Nikki boy. I found myself more and more switching to first person. Yeah, I just feel more comfortable shooting from it, to be honest. I don't know where that lad went. I 
<laughs> It'll be chasing me down, to be honest. Hello! Uh, Salem, how you doing? Yeah, I might do serious PUBG today. I'm kind of on the fence. I think so. It was good fun last time, wasn't it? There was a um, canted, wasn't there? Tech Joyce is in the game. Oh, Techers. He'll be a booty. Oh, I nearly went in. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Let's put, every Fuck, let's put everything down. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Thin Kwan, how you doing? This is just solos at the moment. I'm going to do some one mans in a bit. Thought I'd warm up. Hey, buddy. Come on, nowhere, didn't he? Pew pew. Where are you? Are we try harding today? Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. But a bit more aggressively, I think. Like aggressive try harding. Where this lad um threw that from. He might have been further down the balcony. Let's try and get a scope and stuff. Uh, sorry, Fake Nico, thank you very much for the 17 months. That was ages ago, Fake Nico. Sorry, I didn't call that at all. I do apologise. I heard it go off. Thank you, Nico. Please accept my humble apologies. I am but a humble streamer of the video games. Good, good armour. Just don't have a scope or um, much meds or ammo. If I missed anything good, ah, oh, it's all good, mate. It's all good. Andre W. Hillman, how you doing? Mercenary Xbox, how you doing? I know he's tucked around this corner. I feel like running around there is a really dumb idea right now. He's in a real horrible little bit. Go up on the roof. Pull out sevens.
Hello. I know you're up there. There we go. Kylie, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Uh, Big Z, thank you very much for the 200 bits. I think that's everyone, maybe? We got them all dead. I had to go quiet. I'm sorry for the sweatiness. <laughs> for paying attentionness. Let's go and hide for a minute and re-chat. We'll hide behind this lovely lounger. That guy at the top. So sneaky. Nearly got me. Ah, Possum, how you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, Unknown Salient, welcome, 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 welcome. Juan Pao, how you doing? I can't believe someone stole my limbo stick. Like, seriously, how low can you go? Nice and sorry. What was Nico's? I can't remember how to write 1, 1,051 and 6 and 500 and Roman numerals. I'm livid. Is that I'm livid written in right? Nice. That is a <laughs> cracking Roman numeral joke. Nico, thank you. Uh, Albino, how you doing? Sweaty barrel day i mean it is the sweaty gun isn't it it is the sweaty the sweaty choice the sweat choice well that was fun we cleared out um paradise pretty nicely didn't we let's go see if we can find do we loot everyone i guess i didn't loot the guy up top it's kind of dark again doesn't it Plenty of boosts. I just wanted like a 4x really, but we'll have to make do with a 3. Ah, uh, what's up? Oh, uh, Jack, how you doing from Prague? Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, I remember your new your new tag. You'll always be Jack to me, but I, I remember it. Yeah, doing good, mate. It's nice to see you. I hope you guys are um good over in, in Prague. Grab this guy. I hear a man. I thought I saw a guy. That guy. Didn't shoot my greatest, but he did. Thank you, I wanted that. And I want all your throwy things. And we're good. Thanks. 20 centimeters of snow here. We had a fair bit of snow here. I mean, not that much, but we had a lot for us. Is that another guy laying prone? Fuck. Is someone else firing? I think it was. Well. I feel like someone else threw a shot in then. Why are there so many people laying prone around <laughs> around paradise today? What are you all doing? I'm driving over. Seems seems fishy, to be honest. Hello, friend. You okay? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, there is someone else trying to shoot me. Okay, I thought there was. Where's this lad? Up there, I guess. Were you up in paradise still? 
That's a distracto grenade. I need to resubscribe, but wait till more people show up to, to receive more clout. Like I heard him. I like your style. I like it. Get the most out of your resub, right? I don't know where this um where this lad was, really. It's cold, three to four inches of snow, minus six. It's chilly here, but it's not that chilly. Browns. It wasn't that guy throwing... No, I don't think it was the guy... I'd say maybe it's the guy driving, throwing, like, decoy grenades, but... I'm pretty sure it's someone who tried to shoot me a couple of separate times from vaguely over here. So who knows? We'll go have a little look. See? I think it's like minus two here. Something like that. Like minus two in the daytime is pretty cold for the UK. Pretty chilly. It was like 12, 12 degrees C in this in my office this morning when I came up here. It was pretty chilly. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. I pride myself on my lovely purple helmet. This might be the same lad. The gun sounds the same. Who is that? Really tall Tom. Thank you for the 100 bits. Very similar sounding gun up here, wasn't it? How you doing today, Tom? Friend. I have come to treat with you. To accept the terms of your surrender. Balls to you. Who is that? Mark, thank you for the 19 months. Cheers, Mark. Where the tits does everyone keep going? I'm quite paranoid now after coming across like just so many random snakes. I'm very much alert to the the snake threat. <laughs> Him. Oh. It's a friend. Uh Dan Burrow, how you doing, mate? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Going up there. Worth a punt. New helmet. I like this one's design. Yeah, I do like this one. It does stand out. It's quite quite funky, isn't it? Not sure it really goes with my outfit. But it's it's quite flashy. My finest spraying at the start, but we got him. I don't know if he killed the guy who came up here, so we need to watch out. I think it probably was that guy. Get some sevens. If we can. Still got our jammy dodger pack. Oh, no, we don't. We picked up a level three bag. 
I like the PGIS equipment, decent amount of design going into them. Yeah, the PGIA, P the tournament, the eSports stuff they do is normally pretty good. I don't, normally they give us the stuff from the actual eSports, like, coupon store as a PUBG partner, but I don't think they're doing it this time, so they gave me the stuff that you can, like, buy with G-Coin, which is still cool, but, um, I haven't got my, like, massive selection of super cool free stuff that they normally dish out. Oh, that was very close. Thank you. Um, kind of this way, I guess. Into booty. Did Tech die? I haven't seen him in the feed, so I kind of assume he's been dead. Because, you know, he's a kind of... He's a man who kills a lot of boys. He's a man who likes to kill. There's a crate sitting in the middle of boot camp. So I'll swing past it, I guess. So I guess I actually have to, like... Do the pick'em challenge like some sort of bum now if I want to win anything. Stupid, I hate that fucking, fucking bug. Can I get on that roof easily? Yeah, we should be able to get up there. So it does that because I, I keep A held down when I jump. And then it fucking does that really annoying it's probably been looted but i feel like we should check right oh this is just a i have to go up that ramp okay i'm coming oh shit there's a guy on the top there hello i see you how has that not been done honestly He's going to fucking rail me now. We've got to get in here super quick. Thank you for missing. Friends. The guy above me, I think there might be a guy in this. There was. Got distracted by the other lad. Oh, it's a cool little end circle there as well. We're too busy watching this guy who's just yeah, that guy. <laughs> Should have watched out for that guy. Oh, GG's. Uh, Hollywood, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good one. Good little game. Good little warm up. Solid. We'll definitely take that. I think we're ready for some for trying some one mans. Hey, old guy, how you doing? Sorry. Lone Wolf Ralph, how you doing? Paddocks, welcome. Good start. It was a good start. Yeah, a good start to the week. First game of the week. Speaking of bugs, I got killed by the lean bug yesterday. It made me say a bad word. What do you mean by lean bug? Is that the same one, um, the like throwable lean bug? A friend is just an enemy Ben hasn't killed yet. How you doing, Brass Monkey? Nice to see you there. Chilly hands. It is quite cold up here. It is quite nippy. It'll warm up. We'll get there. I went out sledging with the kids at 7.30 a.m. this morning. One word for you, shrinkage. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. It was pretty cold out walking the dog this morning. It was pretty nippy. I'm currently watching the stream and reading the Financial Times. Nice. That sounds like quite the exciting afternoon you're having. I keep getting the drop ammo glitch and it's really annoying. Yeah, I was kind of amazed at the, the lack of fucks given about fixing that by PUBG. <laughs> they just said they'd fix it in the next update. Oh, oh, sorry. We reintroduced a bug that we had previously fixed that makes you drop all your ammo. Ah, uh, we'll just fix it in the next update. Doesn't need a hot fix. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's incredibly exciting. It sounds it. It sounds good. Gotta love it, haven't you? Quick ad break. What's up, Stu Loves Beard, guys? How you doing? Swoop, how you doing? Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a shame we weren't able to get a clean feed of PGIS this time. Sometimes for these tournaments, they give PUBG partners access to like a clean video feed without the commentary in it. So you can kind of watch it yourself without the commentary and we could like do our own commentary, but we couldn't get one this year, unfortunately. Just get an ump, shoot people in the legs. That's the secret. That's the secret to PUBG. Uh, Shunters, how you doing, mate? New outfit? Kind of. It's like some random um, lunar, lunar, Korean lunar calendar event thing they've got coming up. In a couple of days, you'll be able to do some daily missions to unlock this funky hat. This lovely outfit. Not that weird mask, though. That's not part of it. On a normal day, I'd be skiing in the snow, but the slope is close, so I'm sat at home instead. Shit. Had a bit of a nothing drop here. Okay, there's three of those lads there, so let's get this and we'll go push this guy. If 
funky looking shotgun, isn't it? No fuck skin. Taking their time, aren't they? <laughs> what are you doing? Can I hear you outside? Are you on the roof or something? There you are, Jesus. Oh, someone just walked up next to me with a DBS. That was a different person. Oh, a different team. Strolled over. Loving the level one helmet. It looks cool, doesn't it? It looks really cool. My SKS has that cool skin. Oh, well, the one that I had on my shotgun. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I'm sure most people still don't know you can be shot through those walls. Yeah, maybe. But also, he even if it had been a normal wall, he didn't seem very bothered that it was just there, did he? <laughs> didn't seem to care. Karakin is the toughest map for one man squad. Yeah, I think I'd probably agree. It's not it's not the greatest for it. You can't really use it's hard to kind of take advantage of, you know. Well, you know, it's hard to put yourself in a good position because it's hard to maneuver around without being seen, whereas Karakin is just like it's just so open and there's so many lines of sight, you can't like sneak around, you know, using lots of bits of cover. It's all just, you know, bumps and hills and stuff. Did I play any Forza 7 this weekend? Uh, no, I don't think I played anything this weekend. I'm going to play some more Forza on Thursday this week. Do I do duos with subs? No, not really. We play custom games normally on Fridays. And that's when we uh, do games with subs. Bodhi, how you doing there? We're planning the um, the great the 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 tri beard Forza International Endurance Race is currently being planned. At the moment, we're looking at next Tuesday to do a race on Forza. That's going to be me, Chewy, and Lamb racing. We're gonna do, we reckon about a two hour race. We want to do two or so hours endurance race on Forza on stream we would like to do together we are going to invite if other people want to come and play in that for who are like you know regular stream viewers or whatever um who we know we'll we'll invite a few other people in if they fancy joining so if any of you do play forza 7 and aren't like just a massive sweat bag um then we'll uh you know maybe maybe get involved maybe get involved where do I want to go as a one-man squad? I didn't really think about this. We'll go Paradise and see what happens. Same cars or different teams? We're going to make it so we're in the same cars. 
same setups and like no custom setups or whatever so it's nice and even car wise You don't need Larry experience anymore. No, we haven't done that for a while, really. I'm sure you're a great duo partner, Joshi. I'm sure you're fantastic. Oh, there's no one here. One random lad. Where did you go? Brand. That hat is legendary. <laughs> what the big, the big flat one? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> GGs. Hello. Oh, there's another lad there. Oh, I didn't even see another lad drop. Oh, I would have been waiting for him. <laughs> Sorry, mate. No, it's just me. Just me. I thought it was the one rando that we saw come down. I didn't realise there'd be a squad there. I would have tried to get them all. I just watched the video on YouTube and realised I was on your stream when you were playing. Nice. Must have been your catchy username that helped you recognise that. I redeemed the Lara experience and got literally nothing. I think it was a mix-up in the stock room. <laughs> what if I'm a massive ball bag but not sweat bag? Yep, that is, that is encouraged. That is, that is encouraged. Fancy there being, there being another lad on squads. Well, I was looking when we parachuted down and one guy landed in the middle of paradise with us and no one else. So that's why I was expecting one guy. But I think that was like another group running in from outside Paradise. Uh, timeless. Yep, that's absolutely fine, mate. Oh, I don't want to play Miramar. Fuck that. No. What's up, Nutty One? How you doing? Virus. Nice to see you. Yeah, that'll be next uh, Next Tuesday is, uh, is the plan, Timeless, and Hollywood, and anyone else? For Forza? Fosra? Hey, Rowata, how you doing? Hassan, how you doing? Nice to see you. Awesome is your day off. Nice. Oh, that is perfect. Perfect. Oh, look, Aaron Gall, been rewarded. Larry, how you doing, mate? Thank you for the 13 months. Cheers, buddy. How's my knee feeling? 
it feels fine. It 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 doesn't hasn't hurt at all when not running or after running. Hasn't felt sore in the slightest. It was just when I went out running after about half a kilometer, just had a bit of a sharp pain, which then sort of went away again after you know a few hundred meters, but or sort of faded. But it just felt sensible to kind of bail on it and just rest um, for a few days. So, but yeah, it hasn't. It wasn't sore before at all, you know, weirdly. So I, a bit of a weird one, really. Normally when I've had like knee injuries in the past, you know, if I've overdone it on a really long run or something, you know, like afterward, I'll be sitting at home and it'll be aching or, I'll, you know, you can poke it and it aches. But it hasn't really, um, hasn't done that at all. So, um, yeah, a bit strange. But I had been doing, I did a lot, you know, I ran 100 miles in January, which was a big step up from November, December. I barely ran at all. So to go from that to running 100 miles in a month is, you know, quite a, quite an increase. And I was running, I didn't really, you know, it's all running at fairly, fairly fast speed rather than, you know, really a very balanced training plan. So I've just taken a few days to rest it. I'm going to go out and do try like a slow slow jog later this week but i'm just going to rest up this week have a bit of a rest week and then go back in with a more sensible kind of training plan i think from from next week assuming it's okay by then hopefully it will be it didn't seem like a serious thing just um just felt like i probably needed to rest up a touch a question what do you think if pubg was cross-platform um what with pc i would not like that that would be bad because you'd be at a massive disadvantage to PC players. And the only way to combat that would be to have aim assist. And that would spoil, you know, the, the, the awesome gunplay that PUBG has. Cheers, Hollywood. Yeah, let me know. See you later, kick-ass. Sirzik, how you doing? When you get to my age, everything hurts for the first mile. <laughs> Well, I think that's the thing. I was going out and doing runs and kind of feeling okay afterwards. And I ran like 21k one Sunday and then the next Sunday 17k. Both of those fairly nippy. Um, so I think it was just that uh, I should probably balance that and, you know, not do that every weekend, you know. I'm just going to land with these boys and hopefully they'll get scared. <laughs> Please give me a good gun. There's a vest. Just give me like a freaking gun with it as well. Literally not a gun. He jumped down there, which is great. That guy's literally on the pool roof where there's no loot. That is amazing. Fucking hero. And I died. Maybe he was the Distracto player. Console players could be the bots for PC players, though. I think they've got enough bots already on PC, to be honest. They don't have the, the change that we got that got rid of um, uh, bots on console, essentially. Or got rid of bots for, um, you know, well-populated lobbies. Like, console doesn't get that. Um... They never got that change on PC, so PC still has the minimum 20% bots in every lobby, regardless of how busy the um, the queue is, which seems kind of crazy, really. You just had an MRI scan on your knee after running 5Ks. Hope it's not too bad, mate. Got to take a hot bath after. Heat increases blood flow, aids in healing. But isn't a cold bath also meant to help? That's what athletes do, isn't it? They take like ice baths. I read that as heat increases AIDS. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing. That wouldn't be a good thing. Cold decreases inflammation. Yeah, exactly. Cold bath equals shrinkage. <laughs> You think they'd take bots off PC first? Yeah, I don't know what the motivation there was behind that, really. Um, 
I don't know whether that was to do with player base or yeah I don't know I'd be interested to know their motivation because I guess the art you know the reasons for the having bots are both to help with queue times and also to give players a chance to kind of practice a bit get a few kills in so it doesn't feel quite as unforgiving I thought the amount of bots you get is also based on your level. I don't think it is, especially. I remember them saying at the beginning, like, brand new players should see loads of bots, but I'm not sure quite how well that works. I don't know. Anyone played on a fresh PUBG account recently? Maybe for, like, a few games. I don't think you especially have to rank up very much to get, you know, in the same lobbies that I get. I mean, we come across plenty of new players, don't we? Yeah, I don't know really, Giordio. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It feels weird having like a, you know, having my knee feel a bit funny when I was running, but then just feel absolutely fine afterwards. I like I was going to go out and do like a 11, 12k fairly fast, but I just did like slow 5k instead. And it felt absolutely fine afterwards, but um, oh, I haven't seen that before. Season eight. But yeah, I feel like, you know, if my legs are feeling a bit funny when I go out running, then stop running. I'm dead. GG's. Hey Dees, how you doing? Entertain me, streamer. Never. I refuse. And lad in here. See you later. Slow is a relative term. Well, it is, but, you know, it's slow, slow for me. Probably really slow if you're, you know, Mo Farah. GG. Does the hat work as a throwable? I wish it did. I wish it did. I pushed through the pain once when my knee felt weird and regretted it. It took months to heal. Yeah, exactly. I've done it before when I've been playing football and I've like twisted my ankle and I was like, oh, it's probably all right. And played for a bit more and then it's just fucked for ages. So there's no point trying to push through an injury. It's just dumb. So just resting it a bit. Hopefully if I go out, when I go out like, I don't know if I will go out tomorrow because it's snowy as fuck outside. He's not odd job. I just want to land on some guns, please. Please. Wish I was odd job. Be great. Be lovely. Who needs bots when you have people as bad as me in their game? I mean, that's a good point. That is a good point. Wobbly, how you doing? I've played a few days worth of gameplay and I'm still shit. Where's my bots? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Possum. Exactly. Uh, so the registration is open now, by the way, for the next TBG Cup event. You can do that on our Discord server. Go check it out. Lots of teams signing up already. It's lovely to see. Fully ruptured my Achilles playing tennis. Now that was a surprisingly loud noise when it went. I bet. I bet. Thankfully, I've not done that. I haven't had many too bad, like, injuries over the years, really. Still got the disappearing hat bug. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, that's a nice new one that we got with this patch. It's nice that as well as the, like, as well as the old bugs, like the ammo drop bug, you know, they thought they'd introduce some new ones as well quite quite the treat 
Yeah, I've twisted my ankle a couple of times over the years, but nothing too, you know, and I had a couple of like knee injuries after marathons and stuff, but nothing too horrendous, really. I found a massage gun really helpful with stiff muscles. What about just a regular gun? Shoot the pain away. I've never had any injuries with football. I think not being the tallest is an advantage. Well, not as far to fall. I mean, when I when I twisted my ankle last time playing five aside was like jumping for a header and then just like kind of landing awkwardly, just landing sideways, I think, and just did it in. What's up, Yak? How you doing? If you no longer have a knee, your knee can't hurt any longer, can it? That is a good point. Very good point. I dish out the injuries at football. <laughs> Diving header was your favourite. I mean, I guess if you're really short, that's a lot, you know, it's a lot more accessible, isn't it? What about phantom pains? What phantom pains in your knee after you've blown your kneecap off for pain relief. Yeah, I like it. You know, modern modern problems require modern solutions. See ya. Motorcycle fell on your ankle, nothing. Misstep off a curb, boot for two months. Yeah. They kind of come out of nowhere, can't they? I've not really been feeling this one man so far, I must say. Maybe we should stick with the solos for uh, serious PUBG. Seems to work a lot better. Or maybe we just need to like stop hot dropping and expecting that to work. It's really fun when you do hot drop on squads, though, and you actually manage to just land on a gun nicely. Then it's very satisfying. Um, maybe just a little bit less so when you don't don't get a gun and a vest. Solos is hard at the moment. I don't I don't mind solos. It's okay. Solos was fine. I mean, we've got like ten kills in our first game. It's the one man's that is, you know, where's my where's my noob lobbies. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, PUBG. That's what I want. That's why I'm playing it. Drop that gun and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Let's... Oh, no, we've got one of those. Uh, so what was in here? That was an M16... Oh, no, I want that. I don't want that. I'll keep the VSS for now, I guess. We find something better. Time to press your streamer button. I forgot to press it. I forgot to activate streamer mode. That's what was going wrong. No streamer mode today. We're having fun up in uh, Paradiso. Can I have a vest, please? All the scopes. Give me all the scopes. Solos is my jam. I can barely handle one, let alone squads. Yeah, it's just something a bit different, isn't it? You know. Something a bit different. I had ACL reconstruction through a football injury. Oof. Yeah, I've never had anything quite on that scale, I must say. You just want this snow to go away? Yeah, it's pretty snowy down here. Pretty snowy. Should we go say hello? See if we get on? See where this goes. Might be close. 
Solos beats random squads. A few decent wins this season. Mm. It's kind of tempting. Let's have a look. Fuck off! <laughs> Where do these people come from? They're just like randomly running around. Oh, just some random solo dude. Hey, Mungo, how you doing? He was in chat? What was his username? Guess we're doing this again. I don't usually run crossbow, but I tried it in one man squad and it was great. That was the guy who asked me to duo with him, who is now stream sniping me. Nice. Nice. Had a bit more of it recently. Had a little bit more of it. So now you're definitely going to duo with him, right? Yeah, that's definitely what I'm going to do. That is definitely what I'm going to do. Hey, Stance, how you doing? I thought you were looking for his name to shoot him an invite. <laughs> uh, Vader finally verified my account so I can use the chat. The reason why I wasn't getting the email was because I misspelled my email address. Thank you for the information. <laughs> it's... Good to see you in chat. Welcome, Vader. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You know, we're just hanging out on this fine Monday. Taking in the science that PUBG has to offer. Will there be a Twitter poll? There will be no Twitter poll in this instance. There is no, no need for a Twitter poll. So if you wish to register for our next tournament, you can now do that. The TBG Cup takes place at the end of this month. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I'm kind of on the fence over whether I want to like keep doing these every month or not. I feel like I need to make sure I keep it in a way that is very easy to organize. Like low, low, no, not too much time to organize because I think otherwise it will just put me off doing it. Like the event itself was a lot of fun. So, I, but I might look at some stage, seeing if we can like just host someone else's tournament, maybe on our channel. So they do the organization and I just get to cast it and, you know, show it to you guys might be fun. So I think we'll see. I want to play around with some stuff. I've also had an idea to play around with um, some, like a different setup for the tournament stream, right? Because we got spare Xboxes here. What I thought might be, and I... You know, we have two capture cards from when me and Lamb do content. What I thought might be fun was setting up the second Xbox as a second observer. And then I can have that on one screen just showing like the full map the whole time during one of the comp games. And then I can have like an overlay, a bit like you see sometimes on PGS, PGI, whatever. 
where you have like the gameplay in window and then the full map on one side and we can kind of go into that and then you know back into first person and stuff might make for a bit of a better viewing experience because i was watching like the comp stuff over the last few days and like the level we can't get to that level of production value like the level they do at is just crazy like the work that goes into that i swear like the camera work on like formula one isn't as well executed as it is on like some of the PUBG esports like they you know it's the, the amount of action they catch and the quick switches because they have loads of people sitting there as manual observers in these comp games loads of observers and then a director who's choosing between all these different shots that all the different observers are getting in real time as the event goes on to make it a good viewing experience and it's crazy how good a job they do it is crazy how good a job they do um so you know it'd be nice if we can like level up our slightly it's not going to be anywhere near that unless we have multiple observers which you know we don't have a budget for having lots of observers in a director or leaves it up to PUBG to organize that kind of thing but um it'd be cool i think to do like have at least have a map you know could be a land competition hosted at the local village hall it'd also be like a backup if your game crashes or you almost quit out like accident well apparently the bug where it you brings up the quit out page and you can't get rid of it you can actually get rid of by holding down start i think um which um a few people mentioned and that works we've tested that out now which is great hey planes how you doing but yeah it would be useful for that generally we've been okay touch wood that kind of stuff and you can now reconnect if you crash in your spectator but it yeah it'd be useful i guess I think it'd be most, if I, even if you, you guys aren't looking at that map very often, it'd be kind of cool for me to have it on a second screen because it means I can always kind of look at the full map whilst showing you, so I can, have, I can show the viewers uh, in-game footage, you know, on player cam or something going on, whilst I can also simultaneously be looking at a full map of everything and I can see where the next place I should take the camera is going to be so I can then move it seamlessly to there rather than having to kind of like look around on the map while I'm talking and stuff and so I reckon we can give a good experience to that let's just run a quick ad break here by the way yeah just leveling it up a little bit just leveling it up a little bit what's up sage pumps how you doing Yeah, no worries. I think it's either hold down start or hold down select. One of those does it. One of those fixes it. A few people have mentioned that to me. How you doing, Criminy? Yeah, I think it would be nice just to make it all like a little bit, you know, take it up a notch, right? TGB Cup over PGIS. So when I get stuck in the load screen when going from a game lobby back to the main menu, no. So this, where am I even going? This is, okay, let's get this buggy. Um, so the bug I was talking about is if you're in a custom game and you, I think it's, I don't know if it's if you're just observing, I think it might be just spectator camera observing. But if you're in a custom game and you accidentally hit B and it brings up the, are you sure you want to quit? And then you can't get rid of that. You tap B to say no and close it. And it just pops back up again and it keeps reappearing. You can get rid of it, I think, if you hold down the start to bring up the start menu and then close that and then it goes away. Um, was what I was uh, saying. Yeah, just, you know, make it a slightly better experience would be great. Uh, I don't know if anyone's here. There was a few people there, so there may well be someone in here. We're about to find out. quiet pretty nice day in the circle
Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, who's that? Simon, thank you for the 13 months. Cheers, mate. How you doing today? Thank you for the subs and resubs. 10 already today. Lovely to see. Big support. Appreciate that. I am going to take the sweaty beza. Because I am a big sweat bag. Sure. Sure. Uh, hey, Wit, how you doing? Marcel, how you doing? I had the mini yesterday, second last in a fight, both in the open. Hit him five times and he didn't die. Yeah, that is... Uh, that is the annoying thing about the mini sometimes. It's, um, you know, a little... Uh, a little on the weak side, shall we say? You just got to shoot him in the head with every shot. That's the trick. Right, we're going to try and get the crate. Try and get the drop. I have been vaccinated. That is excellent news. That is excellent news. Yeah, my mum got her um, first... Uh, First jab done at the weekend on Sunday, which is great. We're worried it might get cancelled because of the shitty weather, like blocking the roads and stuff. But uh, it was all right in the end, which was nice. Raise the Lord. The Mini is special. I'm a big fan of the Mini these days. I do. I moan about it a lot for being like really piss weak, but I do also like really enjoy using it a lot. I find I particularly like using it in squads. I think in squads it's very effective. Less so in solos. Unless you like got a suppressor and you're just murdering people out in the open or something. I don't think that would have dropped already. Maybe. Could have done. Hey! Who's that pseudonym? Thank you very much. Fuck! Oh, that is clean on its roof, isn't it? Go on. Oh, dear. Fuck. Wasn't there a vehicle just here? Yep. Man, I just saw the crate as well. I'm blaming pseudonym for that. Thank you for the 28 months. What is that? Like, north? Due north, basically. No one seemed to notice me doing that, which is great. Did somebody say murder? Where is this? Like, ruins? Kind of, yeah. Ruins-ish. I'm coming for you. Um, to Papa drive around. Oh, it is. Oh, it might be in the water, actually. Oh, it's kind of over that way. Swimmy, swimmy, swim. Crate game. Always a crate game on Erangel. How you doing, Boudra? Hoping no one rocks up. And swim. And swim quite a long way with uh, one breath underwater. Pretty impressive. Thank you, that is nice. I will take that. I don't really need two tax stocks. I don't really need one. Um, I might just uh, go back into, into ruins and loot there. Then we got our buggy. We can hopefully find a scope for a bit, a bit naked on stuff at the moment. 
MK14, my favorite pew pew. It is a very, very respectable pew pew. Very decent one. Oh, don't drown. I need to be drowning. This is where everyone on YouTube would be like, how come whenever I go to a crate, there's like 10 guys on it and I get instantly headshot and you just get free crates all the time. I'm like, well, do you sit around, you know, do you go and push like 20 crates every day? <laughs> Probably not. The first crate like so often goes totally uncontested. Everyone's always too busy. Too wrapped up in themselves, you know, to get out there. Get out there in the world, getting crates. Best gun in the game. Yeah, I, I think that's a fair, fairly fair statement. When you drink a bunch of hams for football games, you can operate the next morning. Not true for posh beer. What is a ham a cheap beer? Is that a, a bad a bad beer? A brand? Have to push them to win them. If you don't go early, then you'll probably get wrecked. Yeah, you got to get there quick, like we did then, you know. Well, quickish. I mean, we did crash our vehicle on route and have to get another one, but you know, we made it work. I am the creek master. Let's take the buggy over there, and hopefully, we can find a a shop. Did I not bring it over? Is it just over here still? Yes. I love it. It's a brand. The beer refreshing from Sky Blue Waters. That sounds sounds very appealing. I thought that was like an American word that I didn't know. Is this just a, a, a brand of beer? Oh, mate. <laughs> he just popped up, didn't he? He was just there. It's four bucks for a six pack. That's pretty cheap. God, it was lucky he was a bit of a potato. Otherwise, I was um, brown bread. SKS. And he had an SKS Mosin. Sure. Yeah, all right. Um... Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Lucky that he decided to take a weird loadout. I think we need uh, all those. Thank you. I still got this. I've got a red dot and a canted on the MK. Probably don't need that on there. Sneaky, sneaky. It was very sneaky. Was not expecting that. He's not expecting that. Got away with it, though. Need to get, like, a half-decent scope and we can go, you know, the world is our oyster. Erangel is our oyster. Kind of paranoid about where the next random lad is going to pop up from now. Hey, Nashi, how you doing? And half the alcohol. Are they low alcohol? Then you can drink lots of them though, though right? That's the benefit. <laughs> hey Waffles, how you doing? He shoots like me too. <laughs> hey Chewy, how you doing dude? Oh god, oh it's very red zone-y. Very red zone-y here. Don't worry, we'll just drive through ruins. I'm sure that'll be fine. Just casually <laughs> cruising on through. Oh, how much in the red zone are we? Quite a lot. Any scopes. Driving around looking for scopes for my guns. Is that a 6x or is it a choke? Oh. It's... We need to hide. <laughs> we need to run. We need to run. 
It's the only option. <laughs> it's Erangel. It's going to blow me up. I know it. I know it. Well, I'm not. We're not safe yet. Okay. Okay. We're safe. Okay. We still got no optic on the MK, so be careful there. Well, we got a red dot on it. Hey, Mickey. How you doing? Woo. Beer fridge, how you doing? Yeah, it's good, mate. It's good. I put together some flat pack furniture and uh, did some cleaning. Pretty successful. And watched England be very bad at rugby. Hey, Corn, how you doing? You want to get into this tournament? Nice, nice. Well, the information is all on the Discord. Go check it out. Easy now. Easy now. Where are all the baddies? There's one. There's another one. GG's. That's very close. Very close to this guy getting me there. Thank you, level three. Like this guy's failed attempt at the drive-by. <laughs> I mean, much like mine, really. I mean, at least they landed some shots from mine. Um. Oh, I'll take that 2x, actually. It was better than... He had a lot of bandos, didn't he? You staying in there or just looting it? He's not coming this way. Spicy, wasn't it? The buggy boy. Where are you going, buggy boy? Give him an MK to the face. I'll do my best. We could get, like, better than a 2x. That'd be lovely. Checking for anyone pushing up on us. Couple of lads in the field. How did he get away with that? That's pretty tight, wasn't it? Pretty tight. What did he do? This guy in the buggy just cruising around? Oh, there's a guy in the middle as well. Okay. My buggy's gone. Oh. Saw that coming. <laughs> GG's. Oh, I need to kill that guy a lot quicker. It was a bit of a mad game, really, wasn't it? Bit of a mad one. What's up, Norby? How you doing? I was just too slow shooting that first guy. We kept whiffing shots and then we we're inevitably going to get run over. It was inevitable.
Uh, Ducati, how you doing? The cheeky little toot, yeah. I've heard a third party. That was like eight parties. I didn't expect there to be the other random lad there after we shot the buggy guy. Yeah, there you go. Love Erangel. Just had a 10 kill bridge block game. Pushed a crate near the end and the guy was just proning behind it. Erangel's the best, man. Erangel's the best. It's like the single biggest thing that would make me enjoy PUBG more would be if they put an Erangel playlist in. Be like my top, my top things I would like to see in PUBG would be an Erangel playlist or Erangel featured map or a massive increase in the percentage chance of Erangel being the map so I can play Erangel loads. Ranked being FPP only. And, you know, I think otherwise I'm pretty happy. Just those things. Thanks. Do you reckon we'll get an Erangel featured map? No. I don't think we'll get anything that would point towards that. Summer 2019 was Bliss when it was last featured. Yeah. The golden, the golden months. Do you ever play third person? That's why I've been playing like literally every game today. I just want to be able to select the map I play on, like on PUBG Mobile. Yeah, I would have liked to have that, or at least have some kind of, you know, way of breaking the maps up so it's not just Q and then get one of, like, what, five different maps? I'd be happy with a couple, really. Uh, Terminator, thank you very much for the seven-month resub. Cheers, Terminator. Yesterday, I picked up a reluctant passenger who was stranded without a vehicle, drove him to a compound... Uh, and mercilessly chased him for minutes before killing him. I was laughing so hard, thinking, this is why I play PUBG. I live on mobile. Is my beard real? Be honest. <laughs> it's all real, baby. How you doing, honey badger? Is this serious PUBG Monday? A little bit. Not, maybe not quite as serious as last Monday. We were doing like one man's. That didn't go very well. And we got stream sniped. So now we're just, we're just kind of mixing up with various things. I quit out of any map that's not Erangel. I do that sometimes. But sometimes it just takes too long to get games. That it's not really practical. Like, I saw someone on, like, the PUBG Partner Discord. There's a lot of people saying they're annoyed about how little they get to play Erangel. It's a very common complaint. Um, like, someone said, someone was like, I would literally pay a monthly subscription if I could play Erangel only. And I genuinely would. If I could pay, like, 10 quid a month and only play Erangel on PUBG, fucking done. All day. All day. <laughs> But Aaron will only PUBG. I would pay that all day long. Non-ranked solos was super sweaty over the weekend. I didn't. I don't generally play over the weekend, so I uh, I missed out on that. Would also pay for Aaron Gould Club. Thousand G coin for forty hours of Erangel only. <laughs> See you later, Chaos Theory. Take it easy, man. Solos is always sweaty. I do better on solo duos. Well, solo duos isn't an option, unfortunately. We had it on Haven for a little bit. That was a load of fun. I missed that. That might finally get me to buy G coin. Yeah. Buy G coin and pick the map you want to play. What I think is the most favorable map? What, is, what does favorable mean? What makes it favorable?
Watching some PGIS, I saw them thirsting. I thought that was a banned move for pros. I guess that's sar sarcasm. Looking forward to 5 p.m. To p.m. today when I can get some sleep. Wild night. <laughs> oh, it was the um the American football trophy, wasn't it? Deeply sarcastic. <laughs> ABT. Dutch was in my game and he was the last few and the guy in the last two mollied himself. Was hilarious. Nice, nice. Are there any reliable stats anywhere of how many people play PUBG console? Not really, I would say. Sony and Microsoft are very secretive about giving out numbers of like, you know, who plays on how many players there are on the consoles and stuff that has a bit of an effect on it whereas i love the way the parachute like goes through this hat that i'm wearing whereas um you know like steam is it's all public right you can look up the exact active player numbers for any game on steam for pc but not for console sadly is there any gun there nope pick up the helmet this guy go I can lad up there as well again what's my favorite PUBG map uh it's Erangel I don't know if I wasn't maybe clear enough with that <laughs> It's Erangel. What gave it away? You're in there, are you? I got 21 bullets to go. I mean, he can't have a lot if that's what he chose to loot. I got no bullets to go. It's right, there's a scar back here. He's down to a pistol. Oh no, it's my compound. But wait for it to get blown up. Thank you. That would have been a lot easier to shoot those people at range with, but there you go. Brand. Quite convenient when they blow up the buildings. Quite easy to loot them. Uh, let's take this G. Got not much ammo. Have I ever tried Cuisine Royale? I haven't. Please read my message. I need helps. There you go. Job done. Excuse me. Did you just kill a guy here? Who the tits are you shooting at? Is that underneath? Maybe that was underneath. I think it's underneath. I'm warning you not to. It's just PUBG with over sexualized characters. That sounds horrendous. I will be sure to keep away from it. At all costs. I think it was underneath.
you're watching PGIS and you notice green smoke. What's up with that? The green smoke on the ground is the mollies. It's the fire from mollies. Just so it's like easier to see, I guess. Hey, big baldy. How you doing? Ah. Oh. up here he must i think he's around oh that's not good oh that's very bad you shot my hat off can't have that where's the mutant man oh. we're right in the face oh boy oh no my helmet! I needed it! Chief, thank you very much for the bits. And Big Baldy, thank you for the bits. Also, you're a poo. Nice. Nice. Where are the baddies? Uh, hey Shane, how you doing, mate? I'm excellent. How how the devil are you? How how are you? I see you, sir. I see you. Mother Larry tried to shoot you. Delta, how you doing, mate? Who shot me in the face? Whoop! Oh, oh, no slow slowy for me. Full titty only. I'm terrible at this game. He's reloaded. Oh, that's not good. Lol. Wow, it's lucky um, we were both terrible. Particularly him. Who have I voted for on PGIS? Remind me after this game. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Oh boy! <laughs> it was something, wasn't it? Yeah. I, it, it got to that stage of the fight, you know, when you've totally given up and you're like, well, I've lost. And then you're like, oh, I'm. Somehow I am still alive. <laughs> somehow this man has not killed me yet. Can wrap around quite a long way. What's up, Brian? How you doing? Oh, we found a friend. Where's your friend? Well, oh, this guy's so keen. Uh, 
That's a decoy grenade. Or is that actually a... I think that's a decoy grenade. Because the guy he was shooting was over there. I guess he's already... Oh, there he is. I think K9 guy or Bolty guy might still try and shoot. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got a jammer pack. Let's see what this guy's got. We need his helmet and boosts and meds and stuff, really. And your art ammo. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Switch that. Okay. And hopefully that guy with the bolt action isn't just stood there waiting to shoot me, which he probably is. Having pizza and watching your stream, that sounds like a brilliant, brilliant way to spend an afternoon. The Alfie sweater picture is the content I subscribe to this channel for. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I thought you might. Yeah, we took him out for a walk this morning, you know, as you do with a dog. Um, and it was, you know, it snowed a lot over the last days, so he looked very, he was loving the snow. Whenever he's gone out in the garden, he just, uh, he just charges around like crazy and just eats all the snow because he just freaking loves it. He really likes being given like an ice cube as a treat. So I think having snow on the ground, he's like, oh my God, the whole ground is, is made of treats. The floor is treats. So he's just bounding around this in bounding around in the snow gaily. It was it was fun to watch. Sorry for my bad England. That's oh, alright, I'm sorry for my bad England. It's a fucking shit hole, mate. The Schnauzer face, so cute. They do have nice little faces. They do have a lovely face. A grumpy face. Hello, friend. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Hey, Pappy. Didn't have much, did he? That guy's still over there. We're doing okay. I mean, it's never going to go on YouTube. You can't put a game on YouTube where I shoot like that earlier. I'll ruin my reputation. They'd be like, oh, did you turn your cheats off? Yeah, sorry, I forgot my... I left my mouse and keyboard in my other trousers today. I don't know why we climbed up here, really. Just thought, <laughs> thought it might be nice. I left Micronus Max in the office. Oh no. Oh, hello. Where's the, that guy? Hmm. I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Is my vest cracked? No, just my bag. I thought a bit more cover to work with. Uh, realized I didn't. I'm going to try and bolt here. So yeah. Oh, thank you. Reputation. I have a fantastic reputation. What are you talking about, Baldy? <laughs> My reputation is un unbesmirchable. 
Hang on, mate. I'm shooting the other guy. Should have taken the other med, because now I'm going to die to the blue zone. Probably be alive if I hadn't picked up the other med. Wait your turn to die. Yeah, it'd be nice if they could have shot each other a little bit. I almost uninstalled PUBG yesterday. Gar said, I'm taking this one serious and got a 33 kill win. What's the point in playing anymore? But he, he gets, th he's had dozens of 30 plus kill wins. The man's unstoppable. Who have I voted for? We'll have a little look. Better you die with a song in your heart. That's true. You try and help that guy and he returns the favor by shooting you. Yeah, I know. Um, so I voted for... How do I... Um, teams, standings, pick em challenge. So I voted for... I had, I think I had like one coupon and then I got a bonus one you can claim by clicking that. And then I bought like the hat, which was like 300 G coins. And that gave me an extra two. So I had four coupons. So I predict predicted top four for weekly final, whenever that is gonna be. Um, I, yeah, I don't really know. It's all a bit confusing, but I just picked like four good teams. Um, so, uh, yeah, we picked these guys. What are they called? Like uh, Kia, but it's like, oh, I can't remember now. I don't know why it's not just Kia, but it's not. Uh, Sonic, Shoot to Kill, and um, DA, because they've all been playing well. So, How does he do it? He's just, you know, one of the best PUBG players out there. That's why. Apparently, you can wait until Friday to vote after a bunch of the matches have already happened. Yeah, probably. You can normally do stuff like that, like leave it till really late. I don't normally, I haven't done it for the last couple of things because they just gave us all the stuff in the shop, but they haven't done it this time. Although the stuff in the shop isn't quite as enticing as the previous ones, I would say. But I would quite like the vest because there's no other vest and the helmet, maybe. The other stuff, I don't know if I'm too bothered about. The M4 is okay, but I've already got quite a lot of nice M4 skins. Sonics and STK got through today. Yeah, does that mean that I've won or do they have to win another thing later in the week? I don't really... It's quite a confusing format to follow while staying on top of the just the insane amount of games they're playing every day. Not a clue. Yeah, yeah, me either. Shrooms, thank you for the 14 months. Cheers, mate. How you doing? I'm going to play some games with Gar tomorrow. We're going to run some duos. Um. You know, as, as you mention him. Where's the dog picture everyone's talking about? It's on Twitter. I'll share it for you. Hang on. I'll find it. There you go. They have to win a dinner to get through to the weekly finals. Yeah, but I don't know if the thing... I think it's the thing we're betting on in the eSports e shop. The weekly final, not what they're doing today. So yeah, who knows? But I've I've done some. I've picked four of the four good teams. Maybe I'll win some points and I can buy some shit. Now is the qualifying, right? I want the pan. I don't have a good one. Is the resub shrooms Ooh, a new m16 i changed a few of my gun skins this morning not to anything too crazy but uh switched them around a bit uh right that is time to go and make a coffee and i'll be right back in a few minutes and we'll um we'll play some more pubges brb
Hello. Uh, welcome, Murderface. How you doing, mate? How's your weekend? Turner71, how you doing, friend? I was making the missus a cup of tea. Hey, Pirate Lou, how you doing? You can't just leave it there. You've got to leave the tea bag in for a bit. Then I've got two trips up the stairs, you know. Takes a bit of work. And I had a cake. Hey, Larry Sanders, how you doing? Um... If you want to enter a tournament, all the inf if you want to enter the tournament, all the information you need is on the Discord. I can't go giving the missus some weak ass cup of tea. The one I made her this morning, I've got to take the tea bag out. <laughs> I can't go the other way and do a quick dip cup of tea. I've already given her the world's strongest cup of tea today. <laughs> Is that an unadorned logo free hoodie you're sporting there? No, it's a Vans hoodie. It's just the logo is quite quite small and hidden behind the microphone as they often are. I am wearing Beard Guys merch today, but it's just cold up here, so I'm keeping my keeping my hoodie on. It's starting to warm up a bit now. It's getting to a more palatable uh temperature in the office. Right, would so you said Gar when Gargod said I'm gonna try properly he got a 33 kill game so let's do that i'm gonna try this game and play pubg the proper ways is that right van sponsorship mate that'd be lucrative wouldn't it can you imagine can you even imagine Blockers out for a game. Covering up the sweet merch. Shame. How you doing, Pantless? I know. Frank's Red Hot. How you doing, mate? Now you got to get 34 kills. Yeah, the man, the man just, just prints high kill games. It's insane. He's on another level. I think it's, I mean, to be honest, he does have an age advantage on me. You know, I'm, I'm getting on a bit later in life. He's a bit younger. He's got, you know, he's going to have quicker reactions than me. I think if I, if I was 10 years younger, you know, maybe, maybe that's what I'd be doing. <laughs> I was just playing a lot of Guitar Hero 10 years ago, I think. I was all right at that. I wasn't world-class at that either, though, so I don't think there's much in, in my excuses. Never could quite get the hang of Extreme. Love my new TBG shirt. It's a very comfortable fabric blend. It's really nice, isn't it? They are very nice, like, soft, pleasant cotton. I can still got a bit of cake in my beard here. There we go. Just pretend that wasn't there. Guitar Hero Stream. Can't really do it because you wouldn't be able to do proper songs because of like copyright and stuff. I miss Guitar Hero. It was good fun back in the day. It was a lot of fun. Used to have a, had a good time playing it. I feel like I was born 20 years too early. <laughs> If I was 10 years younger, I'd still be wishing I was 10 years younger. <laughs> I was in year eight 10 years ago. I was 
I was a 25 year old man making my way in the world, working in London, beginning my career in software before sacking it all off <laughs> eight years later. Not to flex on all you oldies. I don't think it's a flex. I like my age. What's up, Grizzles? You're 27 now? Nice. You oldies. It's all relative, isn't it? You're 38 this year. Nice. What's up, Kickass? Welcome back. I feel like matchmaking's a bit slow today. I've just turned 21. 21 again, Dave. 21 again. <laughs> hey, Lee. How you doing? I'm not old. I'm aged in a whiskey barrel. Matured like a fine wine. You're moving to London in September. Nice, nice. I'll be 48 this year, one of the oldies here. I mean, you're certainly in one of the higher brackets. I'm sure there's probably a few, like, you know, older ones knocking about. But yeah, that's up there. That is up there. Treacle, how are you doing? Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Is that a song lyric? What helps the most to get viewers? Making amazing content. And being better than all of the other streamers. I'll be 54 in June. Nice 53, 54. Oh, it's like, the, it's like over 50s day today. I didn't realize. Must be like a discount day. That was a flare, to be honest. How did you still not die? Muck Jesus. Nice. Cool. Get anything up because I've got a bag. Fine. And put it on that. Eesh. GG's. Are you the guy who killed someone? Did you who died? Where did you end up? Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, why not? DBS is alright, isn't it? When you hit him.
the bang stick strikes again. Hey, Nacho, how you doing? How are you doing? That DBS kill felt violent. <laughs> it was very satisfying. I've got to say. It's always very, it's very satisfying using shotguns until you miss your shot and get, and get owned. And then you're like, oh. The nice thing about the DBS is it doesn't have like, it doesn't have the troll factor of the other ones. Like you don't hit someone three times up close to the DBS and then they're just fine. Like with an S12K, you can do that. With the DBS, like that just doesn't happen. They, they're just dead. They dead. There we go. He's up top. Oh, only hit him once. A glancing blow. Didn't do too much. He just swung it past him. Unless you're on PC, your PUBG experience will vary greatly. I mean, it's still vary greatly on PC, right? Depending on what, you, you know, the quality of your PC. Uh, hey, Olive Spoon, how you doing? Interested to know what is your youngest audience here? You can normally tell because they're like, oh, I'm watching in between classes or I'm watching at school, don't tell teacher. Hey, yours truly, how you doing? New house, I moved house. There should be a veterans queue for PUBG, all the players with slow reactions and bad eyesight. <laughs> Yeah, like the over, have like the age brackets for the lobbies. You get that with running, don't you? Athletics will be like, you know, the 35 to 45 category and the over 60s category. Why not have that for PUBG? I love it. It's a great idea. Quick ad break here. Watching some of PGI the last few days makes me want to get back into PUBG. It's been good to watch. I've been trying to catch some of it. There's so much of it. It's hard to keep on top of it, but I've been enjoying it. It's been some really good games. Hey, Sneaky. How you doing? I'm watching whilst doing schoolwork. I'm 37. <laughs> been held back a few years. What's up, Shadows? Uh, Yuki, how you doing? Nice to see you. DBS for stands for the bang stick. Spot on, Dave. The <laughs> bang stick. Been trying to watch all the PGI games. It's super hard to catch them all. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had to. I skipped through a few this morning because I, I managed to watch most of the ones. I think, I think like yesterday, I kind of half watched the ones from the day before whilst I was putting together flat pack furniture. But I wasn't really watching them. I was just kind of like half watching and listing and stuff. Um. And then this morning, I just kind of skimmed through the last, like, five minutes of a few of the games. But there's just no way, like, you, I can keep on top of it unless I just don't do any work. Like, <laughs> unless I just don't stream for two months, however long this thing is going on. Or I don't do any YouTube, then it's just not going to happen. So, um, I try and keep up to date with it because it's good. It's fun to watch and it's also useful for me to, like, know, you know, keep up to date with who the relevant PUBG comp teams and players are so when i go and cast events that they're playing in um you know obviously i'm abreast of the situation but there's no way i can keep up with all of it 
And then as soon as anything happens, then my whole Twitter feed is full of people being like, bah, 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 bah. like this is the exciting thing that happened and this is all the results because I follow like half the players in it and and all sorts. So you end up... Um... Oh, fuck, there's an M4 right there. Oh, disaster. There's a guy in here. Close. That hat is great. It's good, isn't it? Another guy is still here. Where I heard a dude. Hmm. Good pre fire on that one. Yeah, he just ran out into it. He was shooting okay, so it's lucky we did, really. Probably go grab that barrel in a sec, but uh, let's see if we can figure out where this guy is. Pretty sure it's a dude. Oh, hello, it's this guy. Maybe him? Not the lot. Sneaky boy. I find coming up on the roof is normally quite effective because the reason I come up here is because I can, you can kind of locate where enemies are quite easily by audio cues when you're on the roof. You can run around like the whole, you know, enough of the whole area of the school so that if someone is running around, no matter where they are in school, you'll hear them. It's kind of why, you know, why I'm up here. Is it me or the, is the barrel very OP? Uh, it's not you. It is. That's why I wanted to land on that bloody M4. Oh, that's not good. That's pretty bad. It didn't hit me very much, actually. Oh, see it. Yeah, the barrel's super powerful. Despite being nerfed, like, twice already, uh, it's still really good. We don't need all those. Thank you. The ump is super powerful right now, as is the barrel. Both both those guns super powerful. Don't really need that. Nah, sure, why not?
Uh, let's take that. Should we go mini and barrel? I'm kind of, kind of feeling like we might do that. Mini and the bezer. We not see an optic anywhere? Have we have been none? I'm... Oh, Danny boy. I'm guessing that guy who shoot me from flats had a uh, optic because he hit me pretty well. I'm pretty far out. So I put this skin back on my barrel. Oh, there we go. Which is the... Um, this one, PCS2. Pretty cool, right? I put them on, I had one of the new ones on from the current event, but it's just one of the ones you can buy in the store rather than like that one's one of the ones you got with esports points, I think. So it feels a bit like cooler and, you know, more exclusive, right? Check the guy in the pool for optics. Yeah, we'll, we'll make our way over there. Just on the edge of the zone here. We're pretty well looted apart from um, optics, really. So let's go through the auditorium and then uh, loot that guy. And then hopefully we can go. I mean, hopefully that guy has conveniently looted the whole of... Um... I heard a guy. Hopefully that guy has looted the whole of pool for me. We don't have to bother looting it. Save me the trouble. The new PUBG Invitational pan is insane. Yeah, you're a fan. It looks cool, doesn't it? I've already got the last pan from PCS, so I've got a nice pan already, but uh, I've got a few nice pans, really. But it is nice. Make some stuns. It's interesting when you watch stuff like, um, uh, you know, PGI or PCS or whatever, how, like, how they use utility as a squad, like smokes and stuns and mollies and frags, compared to, like, normal gameplay. Like, it's, it's just crazy. Like, the sheer amount of... Particularly, I mean, all of those things get used a lot, but... um. Like, stuns are just so, so powerful, and they use them constantly, particularly because, obviously, it's it's FPP. So, um, you know, taken away, you have to have people who are there getting intel. You know, you have people on your team who are specifically just getting information on where other teams are and putting themselves at risk doing it, which you don't have to do in TPP. Obviously, you just, you know, stand licking a wall and you can see everything. Um so using stuns is like just super, super useful for that kind of, uh, you know, that kind of comp environment. It's crazy kind of watching them sometimes. It's only got two X here. Stun everybody. The pan needs to be the tawny winner's trophy. That'd be good, wouldn't it? IRL. PUBG pan trophy. I'm sure that's been done, right? Must have been done. I feel console comp players haven't got utility down yet, as well as PC players, yeah. I mean, I guess I haven't watched a ton of, like... I'd like to watch more of, like, kind of the top teams playing each other in console. I guess I haven't really watched too much of that. But it is, yeah, definitely a bit of a different ball game. There's a guy. With stuns, I think I stun myself at least 50% of the time. You and me both, dude. You and me both. You going for a vehicle or...? What is that, honestly? Where did you park up? I heard you. 
I heard you coast it in. Do you think I hurt him with that? I don't. I was nowhere near him in the frag. I couldn't hurt him, right? He just seems to drop really quickly then. But I think I, that's just. I think that's just what the barrel does. Good for ammo. Do a little bit of sevens, can we? Great play, thanks, Spider Billy. Hang with the fourteen months. Yeah, I didn't stun that guy. We, you know, we tried, but uh. Close enough. He was just, it was, he got caught out because he hit the engine again to slow it down after coasting in, and then I heard him because of that. He dropped from the OP foot shots. I don't know where this other lad ended up. He brought me a car, which is very nice of him. Not that we have that far to go. Only use frags and smoke, so I can't say much myself. When was the first time you won a game? Um, I like I, the, the first day I played it on PUBG console, I guess. Which was probably like three years ago. How do you join this tourney? Uh, check out our Discord and that'll tell you how to join it. Oh, hello, friend. Where are you going? Oh. Okay. He's dead now. Go for a little drive. When you get mollied, do you press B or just go prone? Um, I think you start medding, really. I'm not sure anything particularly puts it out. I think you just, you just got to get the med on. Not be in the fire and get the med on, I think, is generally the best approach. Is that probably fair to say? I'm not by no means an expert. Guys parked up up there. Load of suspicious smoke over there. Dead guy. Maybe a live guy. Or is someone in this building shooting, which is what I thought at first. Hello. You just fire me so I know if you have a bolt action, please. Would be great. I usually stop, drop and roll. I'm gonna move back in case this guy's pushing me now. Brand. I would have lined up the shots on that guy, but it's just so risky when you don't know what gun he's got. Because he could just one tap you. Probably turn out he's got like a fucking shotgun or something. That was was that that bike rocking up? Maybe. Yeah, I guess it was. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is console. We are on console. As you can probably tell by my controller aim. There's a, is that a gas can. Oh, that's the bottom of the stairs. I was like, oh, it's a gas can. We're going to have a sick play. We're going to set fire to the house. Not a gas can. There's a guy in there and a guy in there, I guess. And it's the guy in the first... This bit moved over. You 
gonna play. I'm dead. GG's. Oh, it's crit. Oh, I got him really low as well. He knocked me miles in the air. Oh, we hit him nice on the drive-by, but... Not a man you want rocking up on you, GG. Going for the fucking drive-by. Such a streamer. I got hit by a car and ranked and flew about 200 yards opposite the direction he hit me. It does happen. It does happen. Integrate stop, drop, and roll function and map it into the game. Yeah, I do feel like when I see people get satellite in comp, they are normally just trying to med it out. They don't. There's not like a go prone or anything like that. Gigi. Yeah, this is Xbox. Uh, as, as stated in the title. Imagine if PUBG implemented a feature where you could set up a decoy helmet in a window. Oh, that'd be amazing. A little helmet on a stick. But it looks really, like, crappy and fake. So it only tricks you at, like, a quick glance. That would be awesome. That would be great. Make it a melee weapon or something, right? Another Erangel. Nice. Been rewarded. Uh, Spider Billy, thank you for that 14 months. So I think I called that out, didn't I? I think we got that one. You could use a helmet you find on the ground. Can you get a white flag too? I'd love for PUBG to add a feature like defibs that you could revive dead teammates. I think that'd be cool. It'd be uh, interesting to experiment with that, maybe in a different game mode. I'm not sure I'd like that in core mechanics of PUBG. But I guess if you put it in like a non-ranked PUBG, then it's like, I guess I don't really play that anyway. For squads, I mean. Sorry, I've like cut my finger. I'm sure it's fine. Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. I saw Wacky Jackie dropping decoy grenades on windowsills because they emit muzzle flash as well. Nice. Very clever. Very clever. Should take 30 seconds or so to use the defib. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't, like, played with that in one of their, like, wacky random maps like Paramo or Haven or whatever. Surprised they haven't played around with it. Wacky has been running Death Races too. Very nice. Very nice. Right. Aaron will take two. Well, we know Crit's probably... Well, we don't know he's not in this game. <laughs> we just hope he's still alive in the previous game. Uh, of all the bloody players to run into, you always bump into the ones who are good. It's not what we need. Yeah, the races have been quite fun. We've done quite a few of those lately. I don't think we did one last Friday. We didn't get around to do it in the end on customs. We did quite a lot in the previous week, so... Uh, we'll try and do some this Friday. Maybe a demolition derby. We didn't get to do one of those. Should be good. And then next week on Friday, we're going to have the qualifiers for the TBG Cup. 
and um, the Friday after will be the TBG Cup itself. So uh, some interesting stuff to look forward to. Mix things up a little bit over the next few weeks. This week I'm going to be doing duos with... I'm not, I haven't landed yet. I'm going to be doing duos with um, Gargod tomorrow. Wednesday, I don't really know at the moment. I might see if we either like ranked FBP squads or something like that. I'm kind of feeling. Or, um, and then on Thursday, I'm going to do some, I kind of wanted to be on that side. Oh, there's a shotgun here though. Load it then. You know. That guy just like plummeted down. I don't know why he just... Where they're looting in this game sometimes. This guy's got a shotty as well. It's not a hat, it's a basket lid. It's good, isn't it? It's nice. You're killing me with the derby. It's derby. Dang. <laughs> What's up, uh, Shark Tanker? How you doing? It's a nice hat, isn't it? I think you can unlock it in... Um... In a couple of days, they're going to do an event where you can unlock it. What's up, Booth? How you doing? That's how I picture you looking IRL. <laughs> Bit of a dustbin lid. It is. What's up, bald and bearded? How you doing, mate? Kilwalski, how you doing? Nice to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a good one. Do I watch anime? I do not watch anime. Watching a streamer get 33 kills yesterday and one mad squads puts me off playing. <laughs> hey Austin, how you doing? Brian, I was told this was the home of only super serious PUBG where the laughter is below serious levels and fun is the only F word that is banned. Hey man. We're going to play some more Forza on Thursday as well, which should be fun. Looking forward to that. The plan is next Tuesday to do a, an endurance race with uh, Chewy and Lamsky. Have you tried to do music in the car? I'm not sure what you mean. Like turn the radio on? Watching you play Forza made me want to buy a racing wheel. They're a load of fun, man. They really are. Whole lot of fun. There's a button to turn music on in the car. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Is it worth getting a steering wheel for the racing games? Um, I mean, how would you define the level of worth there? They're good. They're fun. I like them. Get one with forced feedback. Do you think that's worth it? Does the racing wheel feel realistic like driving IRL? Um, well, I don't know, really. Does using a racing wheel to drive S-Class cars around Brands Hatch feel like driving our Mini in real life to Sainsbury's? No, no, it doesn't. But it's a lot of fun.
play flying shooty games. Yo, you might maybe want to buy a flight stick. I used to have a joystick many years ago. What did I... I used it for... Um, the joystick I bought was for uh, Battlefield 2 back in the day. If you use it for flying the jets in Battlefield 2 with a joystick, it was tons of fun. Oh, I wanted a better gun than that. This isn't good. He's probably got a shotgun off the roof. Maybe not. He's in this this building. You gonna come out? Oh. No, I'm surprised he took it tank to shot. <laughs> Jesus. Taking med. I'll just set you on fire, mate. Would you do any retro game streams like Altered Beast or Golden Axe? Wow. Um, I mean, those games are great, but... I, I, I don't know. Probably not. I don't think anyone would watch them. You know, I think that's if we were trying to be a get rid of some of those. I think that's, you know, if we were a retro game stream or a variety stream, then we would do things like that. But um we're we're not, so uh uh doesn't really seem likely. Uh to be honest. I can I can just about keep uh keep things going with by streaming PUBG so we won't I think Altered Beast is probably pushing our luck with the uh the the, the enjoyment of our viewers. Kafka, thank you for the 40 months. That is huge. Cheers Kafka. How you doing today mate? Had to step away. Did you get 42 plus kills? Oh yeah hundreds. Absolutely hundreds honestly. I don't, want to, I don't even have a vest. Jesus. I know you missed me, so I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did that guy not have a vest? Oh, he did. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, okay, let's go find some baddies. I do not want an S12K. We take this little backup. You we'll go find some boys. Good old Karakin. Great work. Yeah, we killed we killed people. That's positive. Take it. I mean it's not quite as fun as doing it on Erangel, but you know. They're dead. Golden Axe takes me back to fights with my brother, always trying the barbarian sword moves. They never worked. I always used to go dwarf. I was a dwarf guy for Golden Axe. Dwarf all the way. He's a... Uh... American football player, right? Kind of sounds like an actor's name, doesn't it? Oh, you're on the roof. Hello. Uh, Flynn, thank you for the 27 months. 
I'm very happy for you and Mr. Brady. Do I like this map? Um, I don't mind it. It's not as good as Erangel. But it's okay. You know, it's, it's hanging in there. Has its has its charms. Good G36. Let's say that. Please no no shooty shooty. Tom Brady is a he's a goat. He is a goat. I remember, I remember the times before people would describe everyone as the goat, and I feel like. I feel like those were times that I I look back on quite fondly. Before everyone was goats. Hello, friend. You got in there. Why don't they just make Aaron Gall separate? Well, that is a great idea. Great idea. A very polarizing figure. What, Brady? Well, like anyone in sport, right? He's either on your team and you like him or he's not on your team and you don't. <laughs> oh, there's a hole. You're down there. Okay. He's no Cantona. <laughs> Um, you didn't have a lot, did you? I remember when I th was wondering why people were calling people goats. I thought it was derogatory. It does sound derogatory, doesn't it? Calling someone a goat. Jesus, it's all fucking coming down, isn't it? Apparently not, though. Apparently people love it. I guess it's good for the reputation of goats in general, isn't it? It's not an animal that really... Is high up, you know, the pecking order of, I think, human affection. You know, you... If you were listing, like, top ten people's favourite animals, probably not likely that the goat would make it into the top ten. But now, you know, everyone's like, Oh, yeah, no, I throw Tom Brady, he's the goat. Oh, this guy at PUBG, he's the goat. And, you know, now everyone's like, Oh, yeah, well, I love goats now. Goats are really cool. So, you know, it's it's positive. Love me some goat's cheese. Goat's cheese is good. I mean, goat's cheese is doing a lot for the reputation of goats as well. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Oh, hello, friend. Fuck it, what are you made out of? Jesus. The unkillable man over there. You own three goats? Is that since the phrase goat came into fashion? Did you buy them because you're like, oh, I, oh, I love just, I want to call, hang on. Not you shooting me. Oh, it's this guy. Hello friends. Hello roof friends. I love the Taylor Swift goat. I mean, there's a lot of good goat memes, in fairness. That is true. We kept goats when I was a kid. I thought that was going to be like a goat joke. Oops. Was that the same guy that shot loads a minute ago? Maybe. Oh, hello. It's lad over there. They're all looking at me, aren't they? It's fucking... Well, that's, that's the guy I shot earlier. Goat yoga is a thing. Yeah, I think I've heard of that. Camplot, how you doing? It never had anything to do with an actual goat? No way. Really? That has taken me... Completely by surprise, honestly. 
complete I'm completely shocked absolutely shocked I had a goat as a nanny nice did they raise you well goat simulator yeah goat sim was decent I can't hit shit with my G36. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Yes, I saw you. It's TPP, so I can just stand here. <laughs> I can just stand here and be boring all day. He's been shooting well, so he'll probably just laser me when we do peek him, but... Might as well get him off that rock. Come on, get bored. Try and molly it. It's a fair way out. Hmm. There's a guy behind him. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Why is he not shooting me? I guess he didn't see me. Oh, hey. No need for that, is there? Just having a little dance on my head. Honestly. Um, stop using that. Oh, it's because I oh got it. Was my my bumpers being stuck in again. My shoulder bumpers. Oh, come on, why? There are always some idiots shooting me. You got you got any meds? Where are you? Bow, 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 ba bow, 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 bow. Oh, he's here. It's Frank. How far are we to go? Oh, I died. GG's. That's a pretty shiny, shinny helmet you have, sir. Yeah, it is quite shinny, isn't it? It is a nice, shinny helmet. Um, yeah, it's one you can buy in the store for uh, PCIS. One of them. My missus said she's going to substitute beans in a fry-up with spaghetti hoops as she doesn't like beans. Grounds for divorce. That is a ter that's not a substitute. That's a different sport. It's, a it's an abomination. Beans are like one of the best bits of fry-ups, along with the hash browns, the bacon, the sausages, the mushrooms, the toast and the eggs. If you emote and stand on your head, do you have to shoot where your feet were to get a heady? No, I think you still have to shoot them in the actual head to get a headshot. What's up, Mystic Grunt? How you doing? Peter John, see you later on. Not liking beans is divorceable. <laughs> Mate, baked beans are fantastic. Such an excellent food. They just go with everything. And beans on toast is a fantastic little snacky meal. When you don't want a big dinner, beans on toast, beautiful. I don't mind a bit of black pudding, but I'm not mad about it. When did hash browns become staple on an English breakfast? McDonald's? Um, I don't know. I've just kind of always, they've always been a part of it. You go to a little calf, random little greasy spoon, you'd normally get hash browns with it. Beans on toast is goat. <laughs> ben, she doesn't like mushrooms either. Oh, frustrating. I mean, mushrooms are much more commonly hated though, aren't they? That is quite a common thing that people hate. I made a full English omelette yesterday. It was amazing. Nice. 
Nice. There's only so much I can take. Are the beans from baked beans used any other way what other than in, in baked in a tin? I imagine so. I don't know. They just, yeah, I don't know. Just a bean, isn't it? Bit of bubble and squeak. Yeah, that was probably, you know, what they had back in the day more so than hash browns. Bubble and squeak's nice. Depends on the place that does it. It can vary quite a lot. Got to be Heinz. I'm not fussy, but like the Branston beans are fine, man. The Branston beans are perfectly decent. They're just, you know, they're just baked beans. Can't beat a Nell's Calf breakfast. It's been a long time since I've been to Nell's Calf. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been anywhere, to be honest. Yeah, I do like a greasy spoon. It's a great hangover cure. Not that I need that much these days, as I haven't been out for a year. But, um... Classic hangover cure, going to a greasy spoon, big fry up. Most of those hangovers were also like when I was younger, back when I smoked and you could smoke inside. So you'd go in some grotty, greasy spoon, get a massive fry up, sit there feeling sorry for yourself, have a cigarette, feel right as rain. I actually you still feel that like shit, but you have a nice breakfast. is isn't like coffee either. Oh my God. Rusty is kind of like fancy hash browns. They are. Rosti is half fancy ash brown. I've been making Rosti a few times lately. It's been really nice. What's up, Blood Raven? How you doing? I'm sure Toad in the Hole has been covered here before. Yeah, we've talked about Toad in the Hole on many occasions, I'm sure. Butter bean curry with roti. Sounds nice. Not Rosti. Very different. Red or brown. I'm a ketchup man. I'm not really a fan of brown sauce. Not a fan. What did you marry, a kindergartner? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it'd be really difficult living with someone who was fussy about food. Like, it's neither I or nor Shana are uh, fussy at all about food. We eat pretty much everything, so which makes life nice and easy because you can cook anything. You can cook anything nice. I couldn't, like, if I lived with someone and they didn't like, if they said they didn't like garlic or something, but like, well, how I can't. You can't cook you nice food without garlic. All nice food has garlic in it. I feel like saying you don't like garlic is just like saying that you don't like eating nice things. And that's okay. I can accept that. But you, I feel people should admit that. They should just say, I don't like eating nice food. I just eat crap food. And that's fine for me. And, you know, I can walk away from that. Beans with sausage and mash is good too. Yeah. Or on a jacket potato. What do you mean by fry up and greasy spoon? By greasy spoon, I mean a cafe, a, well, a calf, uh, that serves breakfasts, I guess, and s sandwiches and stuff in the UK. A fry up, I mean like an English breakfast. So, you know, bacon and sausages and beans and toast and hash browns and mushrooms and that kind of stuff. That's a fry up. Yeah, Greasy Spoon is kind of like like a cheap working class place, salt of the earth, plastic menus, go in, get a fry up, really cheap. Copy of the sun on the table. All the, all the coffees come in like different mugs that look like they've been gradually acquired over years of buying Easter eggs. Greasy Spoon. Not a fan of brown sauce, never sounded more southern. Harry Krishnas don't eat garlic, so that's one religion out for you. Really? That's quite a neat, that's quite, it feels like quite a random thing for a religion not to eat. Normally it's like a meat, isn't it? It's all normally meat related. What's up, Adam the Twitch? How you doing? A cafe that hasn't got a food safety certificate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Never heard that before. I'm a Southern American, so you can only imagine my accent. Ah, nice, nice. Only place I don't like garlic is cloves on pizza. Gets too sweet. Yeah, I don't tend to cook like whole garlic cloves on things. I mean, not that I would be particularly against it, but... I just put garlic in, 
garlic in everything. And when and there's always recipes. I moaned about this the other day. You get recipes that will be like one clove of garlic. I'm like, you could put like, you don't even take. You're never even gonna taste one clove of garlic. What's the point of putting one? It's barely even worth getting the garlic out. You need at least like, I mean, even two if you're really timid. I don't, I've never cooked anything that I've been like, I think I put too much garlic in that. And I go mad with the stuff. Don't be a dick. Love the chat rules. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Nice and simple. Universal, really. Doesn't just apply to chat. Oh, there's not going to be a vehicle in the garage, is there? There's none. Oh, there's UAZ there, thank God. Oh, there is one in the garage. Beautiful. Sneaky UAZ came out of nowhere. Pretty sure I heard someone land. Deeply suspicious. Is it Friday? I think we're nearly there, yeah. Almost. Decent circle for a crate game. Don't have to go anywhere. Cure. You certainly look like you make a lot of noise with that crash symbol on your head. Don't be dissing my hat. This is this is cultural. This is my cultural hat, I have you know. Bashing on my my heritage. My hat my hat heritage. Me and this hat go way back. Way back. Hey Aaron, how you doing? Probably the most active 200 viewer chat I watch. Ban Aaron. That's not very nice, is it? <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Thank you. That is lovely. Yeah, you do see some like massive channels sometimes with quite quiet chats. So, yeah, I do appreciate everybody chatting. It would be a lot harder streaming without everybody chatting, which is why when I'm streaming stuff like squads and ranked and chat tends to go a lot quieter because... You know, I'm not talking to chat as much. I'm kind of talking to the squad and chat goes quiet. I f that's why I always moan, I, I like start pestering people and be like, hey guys, you still there? It feels kind of weird because I'm like, oh, if chat's not chatting, then it's a bit like no one's watching really. So I might as well not be streaming. <laughs> it's kind of how, kind of how it feels. If you're not interacting, you know, with your audience, are, are they even really there? We chat with ourselves, amongst ourselves, about you. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. What's up, Quero? How you doing? You know, as long as you're chatting, really, it's fine. Like when I was playing Forza the other day, normally playing when I'd be playing non-PUBG, that's like, you know, could be a bit quiet. But then we had like two or three random new people come in who were just like Forza nerds who I think would probably quite surprise someone was streaming Forza 7 with a 100 plus people. And, um... Uh, they were just sitting there chatting amongst themselves about all sorts of Forza stuff. They didn't know what the hell. I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. Absolutely no clue, but it was great. Kept the chat moving. Go on, in the compound. In the compound. Oh. I want that to go long then, really. It'll be a bit quieter. Someone tried to shoot me, so I guess it's probably that two stack. The wheel you use is rated as one of the best. Oh, is it? That's nice. I mean, I, I probably... um, That's nice. That sounds really sarcastic. It wasn't meant to be. Um, I imagine I probably researched it pretty heavily when I bought it. I seem to remember I was recommended it because um, 
one of my friends, I think he still works there. A guy I used to live with worked for, works for Slightly Mad Studios and they used to make, they, well, they made project cars and Need for Speed Shift and stuff. And he's worked there for donkey's years. But uh, so he kind of, you know, knew all about racing games and stuff. And I'm pretty sure he, it was one he like recommended to me. 35-ish, this is a long way away. But uh, yeah, it's a good wheel. The force feedback is good. I bought it in 2013. I haven't used it much over the last few years. So it's not like been through its paces a ton. But I, did, I used it a fair bit when I first got it. But it was nice that it was just plug and play. Just worked with the Series X, you know. Which is pretty good considering it's quite an old bit of hardware. Oh, tits. We cool? Trying to not let my... It's already been done. Who? Where are you? Found him. If you're gonna go sneaky prone, don't do it next to your freaking bike. What did he get? An MG3. Sure. That's what he was trying to shoot me with. <laughs> uh, nice. Um, uh, hang on, I'll get right back to you. Oh man, he's got good stuff, but I can't use half of it. Could have done with that being like an MK or something, really, couldn't we? How much of this can I carry? Cool. I find a sniper. Uh, who's that, Chris? Thank you for the twenty months, mate. That was that was cracking. Oh, did I just cancel that? I guess I did. Top quality. Up on the corner of Boom. Yeah, it's up near Boom Corner, isn't it? I forgot about that. That we both replaced our DPs here. Um, I saw that. I thought that was him for a sec, that bush. And then I turned and saw the bike and I was like, ah, oh, he's still very close. <laughs> very close by. Um, oh, maybe I'll just take his bike. MG3 equals fancy DP. Yeah, exactly. It's the, the fancy pants DP. My loadout is wildly underrated. Two great guns. What, the, the MG3 M4 you mean? Or there was a mini back where I landed. If we go all the way back there. I just need something to put a scope on. I mean, they are two great guns. It kind of... I mean, we might as well go back, I suppose. Being central is good for getting crates. We need to switch vehicle. This is long gas. I still haven't found an orm for that challenge. 50 or so crates later. What's the orm challenge? What guns had he dropped? He dropped a DP. Hey, Krusty. How you doing? What in the hell does donkeys? Yeah. <laughs> Years mean? It means ages. <laughs> donkeys years. I guess donkeys have like long years or like like dogs. Or, like the opposite of dogs. They live for like 200 years, donkeys. Like tortoises, right? Donkeys years. Bet you didn't know that. That's like average lifespan of a donkey. Hello, friend. Hang on, sorry, I've got a, I forgot I didn't really have like the guns. He's still there. Yep. 
Donkeys live for a thousand years. Sorry, I got it wrong. My bad. Giraffe, thank you for the 25 months. Oh, it does not look comfy. Uh, this guy. Uh, he just had an ump. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry, dude. I don't feel bad. I don't feel. Ooh, red zone. Uh, this, we're gonna go. Oh shit! I used to be gas. Let's go hide. I thought he was looting, to be honest. I think he was. He was just, just hanging out. Who in chat has a tortoise? Anyone in chat got a tortoise? Uh, Jace the Ace, thank you for the 21 months. Cheers, Jace. How you doing, buddy? 20 subs and resubs today. Thank you very much. Nearly back up at 700 subs. Love to see it. You're a friend. I should take that um, extended he's got for a sniper because we can put it on that mini we're going to go and get. Yeah, donkeys are magical. Hey, Kane. The real John Wick wouldn't go down like that. No, that is true. That is true. Any gas in here? No. Okay, we're going to jog over. There was a UAZ like next to where we dropped. I'm just kind of hoping that is still there. Not going to be getting the next crate unless we get very lucky because it's all foggy as balls anyway. <laughs> see you in a bit, Frodo. What's up, Jam? How you doing? Good to see ya. Trying to find my car. Bow, ba, bow, ba, bow. Two tortoises. I've never owned a tortoise. They look quite, you know, quite fun to own. They must be quite quite easy to own i mean a slow moving animal has got to be easy to look after right oh that's a flare Ooh, the mg3 is like the old crate dbs people always leave it behind yeah it's always gets left i'm not i don't i don't mind it it's certainly you know my least favorite to get in a crate but uh you know I try and I try and make it work. Easier than turtles? I've not owned a turtle. There's a mini light. That's the actual airdrop. Where was it? There it was. Go on. Oh, I didn't pick up the extended, did I? Well, we'll do that on the way back. Good at martial arts and eating pizza. <laughs> I think that is their diet, traditionally. Traditionally speaking. Radar confirmed. He just drove straight up to a Mini 14. Oh, my God. How did he know it was there? How could he possibly have known? Oh, I mean, I just guessed, guys. Oh, hello, friend. Yeah, there's no gas in that bike, mate. No gas in that bike. what we want thank you uh do we need anything else my vest is absolutely shagged do we get another crate for the oh do we really have we done this mm, i think we're okay <laughs> you gonna fight nope okay 
barely even hurt yeah yeah we got him it was very close it was messy it was a weird angle to try the drive by but i felt we had to go for it we had to give it a go um okay we're good we're good now he survived a lot of sevens hits yeah i thought i'd hit him a bit more heavily than i did but um it was all it was all a blur uh, nah, let's just stick with that UAZ. It's better for drive-bys. Tis just a flesh wound. Any more friends? Someone's got an orm. Hey, friend. <laughs> it really shits those bullets out, doesn't it? it? Really pops them out at a rate of knots. You got a fresh vest for me? Ooh, thank you. Oh, that's not good. Sorry, can I just um? Oh, you're on the roof. I see. How is he still alive? I, I, how, I just wanted to keep shooting. I didn't understand how he wasn't dead. I thought he'd been hit in the head already. I guess not. I, I thought I'd, I thought he'd been hit in the head. Yeah, mini. I would have just backed off and took cover, but I'm like, this guy's surely this guy can't still be alive. The mini problem, yeah. Yeah, he really tanked it, didn't he? he? Just stood there. Kind of a little bit in shock from that, I must say. A little bit in shock. Should have aimed for the feet. I don't think it was a problem with bullet registration. It was just I didn't realize where the shots had hit him. I thought I'd headed him, so I thought he'd be lower on health. It's just mini things. It wasn't hit registration. Registration's coming in nicely for the uh, TBG Cup. What map are we on? Uh, Sanok. We've had a lot of Sanok today. Can see your screen typing bounce that camera good. Yeah, the camera's like mounted on this arm thing to the desk. So if I knock the desk, it really like wibbles around. <laughs> Thank you. 
just trying to remind Pete. I feel I've the I think the most frustrating thing about like I really like doing the TBG Cup because it's awesome getting to cast like you know games and bring those kind of you know vaguely competitive games to you guys and girls to watch. The downside of it is having to organize people into it, which inevitably involves me writing out lots of information explicitly stating you know what to do and then people not reading that um and just trying to do whatever the hell they feel like people trying to register with like one player like no that's not not how it works please read the please just read the rules please don't shoot me how did you tank the first one you had in the hand, I think. There you go. Shot her in the hand. I mean, really? At that range? Okay, now. Where'd you get that Uzi from? Where's the ammo? <laughs> she forgot to pick that up. Copy and paste to a Word doc for future use. That's fine. I'm not... I don't have any issues with my ability to put out the information. The issue is people don't read it. There is that M4. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Hey, doing slick. Nice to see you. Spine a Billy. What's up, dude? If you're going to do something, do it right. For fuck's sake. Yeah. It's inevitable. I get that. Like, there's no way anyone who's ever organized a group of people to do anything knows that, you know, the simplest of tasks can never go without there being some stupid questions, but uh, it still gets kind of tedious. Um, take this, I guess. Get rid of that. I can't read. Sorry. Well, that's, you know, at least you're sorry about it, right? It's a real fancy looking shotgun, isn't it? How do I not have... Oh, we do have a vest. I got level 3 vest. Ignore me. Uh, it's a loot truck, but I've only got an Uzi and a QBU. Yeah, quickly. Oh, I can't pick anything up. Oh, fuck you. Someone else trying to shoot it, I think. Give me a big crate. There's another one! <laughs> ah! I don't have the ammo. I'd love to shoot you. Spike strip. Oh, if I got that like slightly earlier. Why does it give you an M24 with no with a red dot on it? Honestly. I mean honestly. What is the point? Loot truck galore. That's a right little red rhino. How you doing? Mr. White folks, thanks so much for the 12 months. New TBG BBC. Welcome on board, Mr. White folks. 21st sub and resub of the day. Thank you, everybody, for your support today. Glad you've been enjoying the stream. When, if we manage to get back up to 800 subs at some stage, we're going to be doing a sub squad day. If we manage to get back to 1,000 subs one day, we're going to do a whole community week. Uh, of sub squads and custom games, so um, something to maybe look forward to at some stage. Hmm. Dream, dream friend. Oh, you're dead now. Boop boop. Uh, I will take this, and I've got one of those. Thank you, and that's. This guy, another red dot for my M24, beautiful. Some ammo. Kind of need more ammo, don't we? We did fire <laughs> quite a lot of it at the loot truck. Didn't really get anything back. Uh, Hippie, thank you so much for the gifted sub to, to damn it, Adjit. Thanks, Hippie. Thanks, mate. I used to run a 100-person clan on an MMO. Just getting them all to understand English was a miracle. Coordinating attack was hazardous. <laughs> I can imagine. 
I've organized a couple of stag do's before, trying to organize 15 to 20, you know, adult males to be at one place at one time and to <laughs> to tell you that they're going to be there and to give you some money. Very challenging, I would I would say. Very challenging. I wasn't sure if I just heard another guy or if I think that was just my footstep, to be honest. I need some more ammo. I did one stag do never again. Yeah, it's um, not the most fun. I've done two. I did my brothers and my friends, Ian. I was best man for those two. Um, let's go the other way, actually. Oh, for the days when we can pay for liquor with bits. <laughs> Anybody? Thank you. I've got five. How am I carrying so many grenades? God, level three back. Level three backpack. I only said half the word. I was just in shock. Six grenades. I don't... I can't remember the last time I carried six grenades in this game. I've got to find something to throw them all at. Maybe a loot truck. Should we try the half? Let's run the half for a bit. Pink boy. Anyone want a frag? I've got quite a few. I have to throw some now. I'm not going to be able to pick all that up, surely. Oh my god. It's a Christmas miracle. In February, snowing again up north. Yeah, it's been snowing on and off all day here, and it's really cold, so it's not going away. Pretty, pretty snowy outside. C4, does it work on the side of a loot truck? It does. It won't. One C4 won't destroy a loot, tu loot truck. From full health. I thought there was a guy on the roof, but it's just weirdness. But they do do a lot of damage to it. It can be quite hard to stick them to it, but yeah, it does It does work. It's easier if you spike strip them and then just slam a C4 on the side. I've done that before. And then shoot it a bit and then it'll go. Guys in PGS, PGIS carry like a million grenades. Yeah, they carry a lot of, a lot of utility. You fancy coming to my wedding? Free drinks all night in Cyprus if you came. I'm not, I'm not sure I can, but thank you. I don't think I can go to. I can't go to the pub at the moment, let alone uh, Cyprus. But I appreciate. I appreciate the offer. <laughs> Nades are the way. Nades, mollies, stuns. They carry it all. They've got it all. They've got. Got it all. I can't compete with that. I have a red dot on my m m two four. Stank dudes are actual herding of cats. Yeah, it's, it's can be pretty stressful. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky man. <laughs> Cheers, DT. I prefer mollies over grenades. They are very useful. They are very useful. Three C4 blows a loot truck. What, you have to do... What, two won't blow up? Wow. Seems kind of crazy, doesn't it? Sneaky like a snake. So sneaky. 
like a snake in a car. Really do with getting a scope. The next person we see is getting bombarded with frags. They're getting all of them. Especially if it's a loot truck. Ugh, just came from over there. Ugh. To the... Oh, hello. Ugh. No. <laughs> Very hard to see. That helmet is definitely not standard camo. No, it's quite a, quite a shiny purple helmet, isn't it? Quite the shiny purple one. Just couldn't resist, but shoot. you got to shoot, right? That's why we're all here for the old shooty shooty. The mermaid camo, yeah. Why would you come this way? You missed the turning, you nutter. Is this a red dot bolty challenge? It kind of is at the moment. Not intentionally, though. It is till I find a scope. <laughs> this guy's going to get the crate. If he gets delayed and has a fight, then um, he might be able to poach it. All sounds pretty quiet, though. I think he's got it pretty comfortably. Great. Over here somewhere. Hmm, I thought it was pretty close. Maybe it's just in town somewhere. Uh, see you later, Ocean. Take it easy. Have a good one. I was best man for my mate. You got married in Cyprus. Nice. Yeah, I've never been. I'm looking forward to when we can, like, travel again. We can start to get out and go on holiday again. Go to Germany. Go to some gigs. Whoa. Hit him in the head. I forgot I've got like loads of these. <laughs> oh, I just was throwing and throw all my grenades in there. Oh, we didn't get him. Oh, he got an arm as well. You should play FBP. Um, okay, thanks. Thanks. You should play TBP. Oh, okay, I'll play TBP then. You were the last to say it, so. You went to the go-kart track there. It was mint. Nice. I haven't been on a go-kart for ages. We used to go to one. Um, it's the one like near Chatham. Buck Buckmore Park. Over that way. The Med Medway kind of way. I mean, when I was like. Um, you know, a teenager. I should delete the game. I mean, that would make streaming it quite, quite difficult. It'd be quite mild, though. You know, nice, relaxed way to spend a day. Love Buckmore Park, Wicked Track. Yeah, it was good. We used to go down there for, like, birth, kids' birthdays and stuff when we were kids. It was excellent. Having, um, you know, I don't think I've done it over the age of about 15, but it was a lot of fun. I did a three-hour endurance race there. Was shattered afterwards. Oh, yeah, I can imagine you probably were. You should have a beer. There's some fantastic suggestions from chat. I feel that's that's up there. <laughs> chat seems a little hostile today. They're just they're just trying to show me their love in their own unique, peculiar ways. 
Last time I went on a go-kart I was on by Stag Do was forced to wear a pink racing suit and helmet. I mean, that sounds quite lucky, to be honest. I thought I was going to say like a pink mankini or something. TP penis. You can't really play FPP, unfortunately, on PUBG and console in EU because there is only one queue for it, which is squads or one-man squads. And it's normally slow as hell to get a game. So um, I can't play solos. FVP as much as I'd like to. I'm off to pre prepare some dinner for the fiancé and myself. Nice. See you later, mate. Have a good evening. Take it easy. Enjoy your dinner. You should not listen to chat suggestions. But should I listen to that suggestion? Any tasty baked goods about you can sample? I have had some nice baked goods. I had some lovely cupcakes that Sean made over the weekend. She made some for my mum's birthday. So I've been eating my way through those. And, because I went to go and see my mum on Saturday, uh, she gave us a load of chocolate cake that she'd made as well. So we got chocolate cake, at which we finished yesterday, and a load of muffins. We always have loads of cake. Sean makes it, I eat it. I think I've been kicked off every go-kart track I've ever been on. How many... How many go-kart tra go track incidents have you had? You should drink some water. I just did. That's lucky. <clears throat> I didn't drink it very well. You should eat those cakes. I had one earlier. I'll have another one after me tea. You got kicked out of a track because I managed to drift the whole thing. <clears throat> you should change your title to Hot Tub Stream. For more viewers. I mean, do people want to watch a bearded man in a hot tub? I think it might just be you, Aaron. Cake now. Go and eat cake, you skinny bastard. Quite a few lads. Get them right in the front. Oh, oh no. No, I hate the thing. Is that an SLR? Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Surprised he lasted that long. I need a vest, please. <clears throat> You should practice drinking water. I should. That is fair. Need a helmet. That's one. I heard a guy around the back, though. Ah, what's going on? Yep. Yeah. Oh, hello. It was a new boy. Sorry. Thank you. 
Uh, well, let's keep the, M the MP5. Doing the work. GG Frisbee head. I treat my water badly quite a lot on stream. I think it's because it's that massive bottle. I'm always like lugging it down in a hurry. <laughs> I, I promise I drink more normally <laughs> when I'm not streaming. I promise. It's a pretty solid loadout, isn't it? It's not to be fucked with. Is the cup sweaty or as chills? Depends who enters, really. Um, yeah. Depends who decides to play. I wouldn't say it's ultra sweaty. You know, it's... It, the idea is it's, you know, serious gameplay and you're, like, playing it with the... You're trying to win, you know? So, I mean, if you think ranked is sweaty, then you'll probably think it's sweaty. If you don't think, you know... I don't want it to be like a pub match. Otherwise, it's not going to be good to, like, cast and watch and stuff. You should get a straw. That is not a bad idea. Just a big straw. Maybe I'll just take a day off from streaming one day and just, you know, just practice drinking water a little bit. Maybe I could make a YouTube series about it. You can make a video about anything. We need to go down the bottom and clear out any baddies. Hello. You need a beer helmet. I need like a bit an Astro beer helmet. That's not really my kind of vibe. That's more of like the chewy kind of vibe, you know. There's a lot of players left alive. Do you think we got like a bot lobby or something? Top 10. 10 things you didn't know about drinking water. <laughs> Number one. Yeah, I'll have to think on that. It's not something I've given much thought to, I'll be honest. Drinking water tips video. It's all about tips videos. That's how you make YouTube content. Tips videos. Thank you. Need a better bag. Need these kind of things. And we need baddies. Is it bad I drink more coffee than water? Um, I, d I mean, I can't give you a professional medical opinion on that. Maybe. <laughs> I can't just drink coffee. Otherwise, I'd be going to the toilet every like 20 minutes. Yes, there we go. Yes, I think Hollywood's a doctor. It's probably not ideal. It's probably not recommended. Where's all the baddies? No one here. Nobody here. <clears throat> Tips with a P. Yeah. Um, thank you. We got my SLR pimped out nicely. Just no one around to shoot with it. You used coffee and cannabis to cut a chewing tobacco habit. Did that work? It's not such a thing over here, chewing tobacco. It's quite big in America, isn't it? Oh, big bag. Thank you. Two for one, but it's a, I feel it's a healthier trade. Yeah, probably. I'd say tobacco would be the unhealthiest of those, you know, three three choice of things. We love that tobacco. <laughs> Thumbnail H two O M G. Nice, nice. Love it. Where where is everybody? There's loads left alive. We need a vehicle. Gonna hunt them down. 
I was thinking Tabasco sauce. I don't think he had a Tabasco sauce habit. <laughs> I was drinking three bottles a day. My butthole was on fire. Haven't had chewing tobacco since November. Any tobacco for that matter. That's great. Good work. Good work. Yeah, I wouldn't re recommend drinking a bottle of Tabasco. Even the green one. Not a good idea. Half a bottle max a day, you know. Tobacco got me bad. That's such a classic episode. Such a classic. Ever notice the MP5 with the tax talk? Looks like the ump. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Love that episode. I've not seen it for years, but it's just one of those ones that, like, sticks in your head, isn't it? Not that I've seen any Simpsons much, really, for a while. I mean, for a while. I feel like the, uh, the Hank Scorpio one is always, like, my favorite all-time Simpsons episode. Whatever that one's called. So good. One of my mates had a dirty pint with a bottle of Tabasco in it. He was very ill about 10 minutes later. I can imagine, yeah. Got a dirty pint. What a, what a stupid idea, eh? Definitely something from the days of when you're young enough to think that getting drunk is cool rather than getting drunk is a necessity. That is. Is there, is there anybody? There's lots of cars around. Did anybody, anybody drive these cars here? <laughs> Please, no one shoot me. Please. Oh, I was hoping there'd be like a cool little jump, not just a big rock. The, the one where Homer works for the Canadian supervillain? Yeah, Hank Scorpio. And they, like, move town, and, yeah, it's like the James Bond villain kind of guy. I don't think even Chewie would do that. It would not surprise me if you told me Chewie had done a dirty pint on stream. And Fucking there, aren't you? Oh, I thought I was more hurt than that. God's sake. Why well, how have I ended up in this situation? <laughs> why do, why has this happened? I'm still not even badly hurt. I keep anticipating I'll be really badly hurt and like they keep shooting me in the fingers. Oh, I see you. Someone else having a fucking go now. Banged his vest in, didn't we? A guy trying to shoot me with a canine. That was a lengthy exchange. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Um, I just wanted to see if he had any. We didn't. No, we're pretty good, aren't we? I don't know where the seven, the bolty guy was really. Somewhere over there.
A wibble wibble. We'll do the, the wibbly wibbly. I haven't been doing the wibbly. We were practicing it at the start today. The wibble, the, the sweat wibble. <laughs> the pro wibble, the esports wibble. Wibble wibble wibble. If you don't do that when you're ADSing, then you're basically a potato. That's what I've learned. That would be my top tip, top 10 tips for being a professional, professional PUBG esports player. Wibble wibble. Number one. <laughs> Wibble wibble. Number two. Lots carry a lot of smokes. Go wibble more, mate. Wibble wibble. Wibble wibble wibble. Wibble wibble. Oh, he shot me in the head. <laughs> uh what's up, Dale Ray? How you doing? The ump is a lighter, cheaper alternative to the MP5, both, both made by Heckler and Cock, hence why they look similar. Thank you, Fredo, for that gun fact. Thanks for the gun fact. I'm good. Yeah, I'm excellent. Thank you. I'm excellent. Uh, hey, Anthony.